So we were just talking about how pivotal it was for you to get mm-hmm. to go to the Michigan Women's Music Festival. Yeah, it for, radically altered for so my many life. years. Yeah, starting at age twenty-one. Yeah, and I think it was really important to be able to go to a place where there were a lot of butch women who were, you know, topless, doing butch stuff, (laughs) you know, like fire pit Uh stuff, Uh recycling, Mm -hmm. and they were cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a mirroring Mm -hmm. of who I wanted to be. Mm Mm-hmm. So it gave you a model mm-hmm. of who you could be and it, how you yeah. could be masculine and have a female Absolutely. body. Absolutely. And it was just everywhere a festival. Mm-hmm. You know, the people doing the recycling, the people doing the fire pits, they were extremely butch. There was just so many artists who were, you know, people running the sound. They were everywhere. Mm-hmm. And they were the mirroring. I looked at them and I wanted to be like them. Mm-hmm. And, and so it was then, so healing. Because then, prior to that, you just looked at... I had never seen. So you just looked at, like, women, and you didn't want to be like them, and you I looked at men, and you couldn't now. be right. them couldn't at be that men. point. I Maybe. would have wanted to be like a guy. I would have wanted that. But I was, you know, I think, too, the thing about festival that so, was so unique is you were there was was a lot of like partial clothing or it was summertime mm-hmm. and so you really do get to see people's so you got bodies. to see the full butch gender expression with the female, female body. body it wasn't like you know the body wasn't prevalent mm-hmm. you know or really on display it really was mm-hmm. and so i got to see a lot of butch women topless doing butch shit <laughs> topless you know mm-hmm. And and so you feel like that is part of what then enabled you to find a path as getting to remain masculine in your female body rather than choosing to gender transition. Yeah, for me it was. And I did come close to transitioning um, even after years of festival. Mm-hmm. And... When I read Stone Butch Blues, that was really pivotal um, for me. I mean, I read that book. I got that book, and I just sat down, and I read it cover to cover. I, 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 d- I didn't go to work. I called in sick. I was like, I got to read this book, y'all. I can't come in. I didn't say that. I said something like cold or something, but I just couldn't go to work. Mm-hmm. I stayed home until I finished that book. And I threw the book against the wall a couple times because it was just so sad. Mm-hmm. But I, I recognized, I was like, this is me. This person has gone through more stuff than I have. Mm-hmm. And they're from a different generation. But it's the same uh, life. It's mm-hmm. the same life. Mm-hmm. And and I, I really, at that time I didn't know anything about transition or anything like that. I didn't learn about transitioning until later in Chicago Mm -hmm. when I met some, oh, I was friends with someone and they came to a party. It was all lesbians. And they said that they were transitioning to become a man and that they couldn't come to the lesbian slumber party. It was a lesbian slumber party. And they couldn't, it was like every year. And they were like, I can't come anymore because I'm a man. And everybody was so angry Mm. except me. Cause I was like, that's how I feel. Mm. So I said, you know, to this person, Jacob, Jen at the time, I said, I think I feel the same way as you. Mm. And then everyone was like, no, you don't. Mm. No, you don't. Mm. And people were really upset. Mm -hmm. And I just really identified with that. I was like, I've Mm -hmm. always wanted to be, uh, you know. So what an incredible thing that all of a sudden somebody's telling you, like, here's this path Mm -hmm. to being what you always wanted to be yeah. and then you know that the idea yeah. that then you would get to feel congruent yes and it was after years of festival that this happened and he had top surgery and i had enormous jealousy mm. i had such jealousy of what part of it 
I think there was a shame. I had shame about how I had these feelings mm -hmm. that I had wanted to be. Mm. I had I had shame. I had jealousy mm -hmm. about his body transitioning. Mm -hmm. You know, like the fact that he was claiming this for himself. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like a how dare you claim this. Mm -hmm. Because it was making me question everything. And I was a little bit like discombobulated by it. Mm -hmm. Like, so there was a little bit of me that wanted to shut him down a little bit. That's mm -hmm. something I'd never did, but it was a part of me. I had to really analyze that quickly because mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, why am I trying? Why am I kind of angry at this idea? So the jealousy was him getting to yeah, not have breasts anymore or not just have getting breasts, to be a man, buy a suit, you know, go to work say he's he you know he's gonna change his name he's gonna do all these things he's gonna become a man mm -hmm. and i was i was a little bit like you can't you know we can't do that that's not an option mm. you know i didn't know well, i had never heard of this as an option mm -hmm. and i was a little bit scared of the option sure of course so it was really threatening to me mm -hmm. Um, I was a little bit more comfortable with the butch, you know, I was like, okay, let's stay butches, y'all. <laughs> you know, like, mm -hmm. this is scary, mm -hmm. you know, and I had jealousy and I decided, you know, I decided to kind of dive into it mm -hmm. and really try it on. So I was like, maybe I need to do this. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to transition. Mm -hmm. So I got some magazines they came like some magazines or brochures from people who did top surgery mm. and there was lots of pictures and I so desired mm. the pictures. Wow. I so desired to look like that. Wow. And I started, um, binding and kind of going around with the binding mm -hmm. stuff. And it was so easy for me to pass at mm. that time, mm -hmm. you know? With the binding. Mm -hmm. So I had all these. Oh, you were passing past now. Yeah, I, well, I, yeah. It was so much easier even then. Uh-huh. And um, I don't know. It was just a really interesting experience. I tried it on. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know what? I changed my name to Alex and my middle name. And I started kind of trying it on. Mm -hmm. But then something happened. And I made all sorts of friends in the trans men community and started a support group together in Chicago for, you know, we did it together and, and mostly it was the first uh, that we found a social, uh, a, um, uh, therapist who was willing, she donated her time. So, I mean, all props to her, you know, for, she's the one who did the hard work. We just kind of organized it, but she mm -hmm. actually gave her time. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I made all these friends mm -hmm. and I was hanging out with trans guys and, but something happened that was different for me than happened for them. Mm. And that's, I think, ultimately, it, it just started out where I wasn't really enjoying passing. Hmm. There was something about it that I didn't like. Hmm. I didn't like being a man amongst men, and I didn't hmm. like being separated from women. Hmm. And I didn't like the idea of not being with more with the women I just didn't mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. I didn't want to be a man with man mm -hmm. with men and I didn't enjoy that mm -hmm. and and then I you know really started working on my remembering a festival and I kept going to kept going to festival and I just kept thinking about women you know butch women and just more looking towards that and making mm. peace with my body at a different mm. level mm -hmm. and Ultimately, I decided not to transition, but to really kind of dive in. But the the, the analysis of it did help me start to love my body more mm. as it was. Mm -hmm. And it also healed some sexual stuff because I was having trouble with um, sex and being masculine. Mm -hmm. And just how, you know. How to make that work. How to make that work. In your female body. Exactly. Exactly. So it really was good for me, but it, it, yeah, I came really close to transitioning, but it turned out not to be the right thing for me. Mm -hmm. And I did ask my therapist at the time, because there was then a part where I was like, well, if it's not right for me, it's not right for anybody. And then my therapist was like, no, you know, it's really different for everybody. And I've come to realize that it is really a personal journey. Everyone has to make their own decision, you know, mm -hmm. for themselves. And everyone's a little, you know, we're all like snowflakes and there's mm -hmm. lots of inputs and 
everybody has a different way. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And that's what I love about, you know, this conversation with you, because there's several trans men in my life that I'm close to yeah. who are so glad to have transitioned and yeah. feel like it was absolutely the right thing for them. Yeah. And then I think it's so important to, to both honor that and yes. then honor this, your experience. Yes. That, you know, because I have heard you say you're really glad to have the body you have and the ability to have pleasure Yes. that you have yes. in the body you have. And I really appreciate the body you yes. have. So we're talking about how, you yeah, know. Yeah, and breasts. We're talking breasts. about breasts. We were talking because, about breasts. Because I've come to really enjoy them <laughs> and make peace with them. And I I don't know. Is it's that just what a we were doing thing. today? We're yeah, so making we're peace? Making peace. <laughs> we were doing them. something <laughs> with those breasts. Exactly. I've really come to make peace with them and <laughs> enjoy them and i am glad it was so yes. peaceful. peaceful it was yes. very very peaceful you know and there's a lot of my life where i wouldn't have been able to do that so you know it's really and, it, and if not for trans men i wouldn't be here because uh with such peace either because i wouldn't have really had the the chance to dive in deep mm. and really do the healing that I needed to do, if not for the trans men that I was friends so with to help me. So it, you've been helped by both trans men and, and butches. butch women. Yeah. To find butches, myself. Butches, butch women, however they yeah, identify. Yeah, butches, yeah, butches. And then you've been helped by your lovers yeah, who are absolutely. whatever it is we are, femme yes, or femme-ish or femme, yes. more femme-presenting. or Oh, well, that's know. the most help I've ever gotten because that's, I mean, femme or pe people, lovers, they, you know, that's where you, I've, I've always felt that I could be myself the most. Mm -hmm. 